the um, wheel hub. Here's the outline of my paper that's 277 millimeters by 190 millimeters. Um, let's just draw this one in. First up is a front view. It's just three concentric circles. Let's put in a center mark somewhere. We've got to put the circle in first. Um, diameter 70, diameter 50 internal. So I'm just looking at this wheel hub. Diameter 50. Let's add another one. Diameter 70. And let's add a third one. Diameter. The pitch circle diameter. The reason why I picked this one was to talk about pitch circle. The um, holes are all on a circular diameter so I'll change that to there of 100 millimeters those four holes are pitched out on a um, they're pitched as in thrown on a pitch circle diameter and lastly I'll just change that back to solid line the outside diameter of that is 150 done so in here we've got four of 12 millimeter holes so let's just come up here and go boom and that's diameter 12 there's one there there's one there there's one there hopefully that's sitting on the right thing I'll just check that actually is diameter 100 that was sheer happenstance. I was exactly 100 mil off there. Okay. So. Yep, yep. Okay. And essentially that's it. If you want, we can pitch inside here. We'll just put in a dotted line circle. Circle. Dotted off the center that's now because the um, oil well there is two millimeters deep that's now 54 mil so that's our front view that was so difficult the um, side view is equally as difficult it's a section side elevation so let's just draw it across And actually, I'll use that as being an easy one to find. Copy from that's what I want to copy going from there to there to there to there to there. This is essentially just going to be all the various marks that we need to draw the um side elevation or section side elevation done there it all is let's just draw this line down here now from there pitch straight down we are offsetting 12 and 60 for a starter so i'll offset that 12 mil in to get to the other side of the flange. We're using the offset tool. 12. And it's 60 off that, so I'll just 60. Okay, let's move those three lines across a bit. like so now let's just start i'm going to just delete all those lines i definitely don't need like that okay and that one there just delete that there okay so these are the lines I definitely didn't need. That one there is there, those three there I don't. 
I'll come back later on and I'll just change all the hidden details, etc. back to next. That's the outside of that pipe. Coming back in here, now looking to get the oil um, land. That was pitched back in 25, so that's done. So let's just get the oil land. That was a half sectional view. So I'm going to just go, don't want those three. Don't want that one, don't want that one, don't want that one. Don't want that one, don't want that one. Oops, control Z. Went a bit too fast there. Don't want that one. Actually, I will make the top half sectional view. Okay, so because I'm making the top half sectional view, I have cut these ones. That's where the um, Okay, we're done. Now, below it, we can just remove everything. Half sectional view, all that we don't need. All that we don't need, we don't need them. Because we've got the sectional view, there is zero hidden detail on the other side. So that is just removed, all that's gone. Work with me here and all will become really, really simple in just a second. I'll leave the center line and that's all. Done. And date you. Okay. Now. Let's first up change every single one of these lines to um, solid. Done. Okay. Missing something. That's a through hole. I was a little bit overzealous when I was hacking out lines. That one comes back in. Okay. For this one. That's the center line of those holes. So I'll just draw that out. I'll just extend that out. Like so. I'll delete the circle. And I'll delete his mate as well underneath for a reason you'll see in a second. Did I get that right? I did now. So there's the center line. Now I'm just going to mirror that around there and there's his mate underneath so there's the center line there's the sectional view and let's just cross hatch it in now that's saying that's all part of the one thing um there is your sectional view complete there it is there let's just mark in section aa on here because I don't think we have an option for a sectional line. Centered chain, centered chain. Don't know what that one is. No, okay. I'll just put in a chain line, like so. Chain line. Now we're going to the Australian standard. We'll pick a thick line, probably even thicker, just to make it completely obvious from the end to there. From the end, I'll even make it two mil thick so it's incredibly obvious done then we'll just draw in an arrow from here oops oh no 
was going to leave it thick, but I won't. There's our app. So it's three mil out and it's one mil up. That'll do it. Eighteen point four degrees. change that to a 5mm text and I'll just move that just up a bit there you go and that across and copy down to here so that's saying section AA that's how sections are indicated the Australian standard modern is slightly different. The modern Australian standard, which isn't really in textbooks and isn't taught by teach or teachers, is on top is your underneath is your new drawing number. So it's saying refer to this particular part. Um, sub drawing drawing number four on whatever your other drawing number is so it might have that there instead so if you see this stuff in a circle so go to sketch number four on drawing number whatever that's indicating instead of a that's the modern Australian standard that's also valid, but that's a technical engineering only engineering standard for drawings on the same part number. Because your um, syllabus says you need to know Australian standard, that is how you section. Well, that's how you indicate sections as well. So underneath here, we'll just put in section AA. Five mil text to keep it consistent. You should only have two text sizes on a page. You should only have two line weights on a page. Section AA. What that's saying is it's cut it through that section plane, but it's looking in the direction of the arrows. Then we'll just move that onto the drawing. Delete that. And there it is, all done. There you go, that looks centered enough for me. I'd happily take that. 